Hello everyone and welcome back to Snakes on the Plains. Today we are going to be showing you how to set up your rack. Now we actually have two racks, one of which is already set up and uh, is our, you could say, uh, healthy snake rack. And this one is actually going to be our quarantine snake rack. You can, well, you will see the difference between the two. This one was actually a Craigslist find. So it's a little bit um, different quality than the one that we had made by Aquatic Oaks. If you guys are anywhere near Nebraska, I highly recommend those guys. They are awesome to work with and just great people overall have great passion. All right, for those of you who don't know what a rack is, it's basically just kind of like a glorified bookshelf as you can see. What happens is you put um, your snake in a tub and then you can put the tub on the, uh, the shelf. This right here is just heat tape, so that'll heat up and uh, hopefully get to about 90 degrees or so for the hot spot for your snake. And it is actually just wound through the whole entire uh, um, bookshelf here. So what we can do here is every single one of these uh, four layers can hold a 32 size quart tub, which is about the size what you need, or is the size what you need, I guess, for an adult ball python. It also can hold a couple of the smaller size tubs, um, which we will be putting into at least one of them because our newest uh, addition, the Hurricane, which is pretty exciting and hopefully you guys will see in just a few minutes if you stick around we'll be going in this bad boy as well personally i recommend quarantine um if you don't do it and it really only takes one time kind of like murphy's law thing if you don't do it once you're probably gonna you know regret it because honestly like you could kill your whole entire collection you could get your whole entire collection sick you could get mites and all your snakes just from not quarantining one snake it really just takes one simple mistake to do that whole thing and why do that when you can just uh you know wait a couple days 40 days to be exact is what i do some people do less and uh, ensure that your snake is you know safe and he healthy and then just you know put them in with the rest of your collection Personally, I think it's kind of dumb not to do it, quite honestly, but I'll be showing you how to set up a rack today. For those of you who want one, the running price of a good one is, depending on how many you want, uh, shelf-wise, how about the quantity of, you know, space you want, probably around, you know, 200 to 400 for a good one. Um, I did happen to find this bad boy on Craigslist, like I said, for uh, quite a considerable amount less than that. So keep your eyes open. Um, however, I do want to, uh, I guess, warn you sort of about my Craigslist experience with this rack now. It was just a couple, like an hour away from where uh, my boyfriend and I live. And when my boyfriend went to go pick it up, he got it all fine. The couple that they, he got it from were kind and, you know, just normal people didn't try to do anything creepy or weird first off when you're meeting someone uh, from craigslist and uh, instead of like getting a rack shipped to you which is normally what happens which is also why the price can be so expensive um please meet in public okay guys like you don't need to put yourself in any sort of uh, strange situation or possibly harmful situation so meet in public and number one number two do your research um make sure that you know this this person that you're buying from you know has more than one picture of this of, of the thing that you want come on that's the it might be just a little fuzzy sorry guys um but make sure this person actually you know has more pictures of just you know whatever it is if it's a snake ask them to have it something have a snake with a picture of something specific like maybe a quarter um, or you know like like a penny on one side or something like that so that you can ensure that they actually have the snake and they're not just you know dicking you around same thing with the rack do that as well make sure that you say you know hey can I have a picture of just you know the rack with a banana on it <laughs> you know, something that you can make sure that they're not just pulling this image from Google somewhere and making you drive someplace and then you know who knows what they're going to do Maybe just steal your money or worse. I know I'm a worry wart, but better to be safe than sorry in my book. And the second thing is uh, don't think that just because you're talking to them and that they say, yeah, you know, we'll sell to you that it's going to happen. Unfortunately, what with, with what happened with this rack was that it was on um, for sale for quite a while because they were selling the animals out of it first before they could sell their rack. Now, once they did sell their rack to us, 
I saw a woman post on one of my Facebook groups the same exact photo as this rack and say, hey, I'm going to go pick this up tomorrow. You know, what what a thermostat should I be, be using with this? Instantly, red lights went off in my head. I thought, oh no, this woman is being scammed or possibly, you know, being uh, going to be like robbed or something because um, that's the exact same photo that I just saw on Craigslist. So I thought someone took it was going to do harm to her or something so I let her know and it actually turns out we were talking to the same guy so this guy was talking to who knows how many people trying to get rid of this rack as fast as possible and uh, which is a pretty crappy thing to do you know first come first serve is probably the best way to do it guys so uh, yeah don't be that guy just be straight with people you know say hey I already have someone else I'm talking to if that falls through I'll talk to you next but uh, unfortunately, she was going to drive up about three hours to get this rack. And the guy didn't even have the common decency to tell her that he already sold it. Um, so it's a pretty crappy way to find out that something that you were really excited about was gone. So just make sure that you guys know how Craigslist works. Now, if you actually want a rack built by a rack guy, or girl, I guess, sorry, a, a professional rack builder, you're not going to run into that issue. And you can, you know, look at reviews from them, you can ask people on Facebook groups who they've bought from in your area, uh, it's, just, it's just a way better, easier um, solution than Craigslist. So, you know, if you pay more money, you get better quality, and I'll show you that in a minute. So sorry about that rant there, guys, I just don't want any of you guys getting hurt. Um, I would hate to see anything happen to anybody in the in this awesome community. So without further ado, we're going to go look at the other one. All right, guys. So I hope you can excuse the mess. Still moving um, around and stuff in this house. But uh, it's a little better in here, actually. Yay, more clean getting there. Anyways, um, this is kind of what the rack will look like when it when we've done um, got when we've done got when we've gotten it done and set up now. I, again, I'm a bit of a worry wart, so I love having the lids on top of my snakes inside the rack. Now, this does not have to happen. Most people's racks that I've seen anyways do not have the lids, and they actually, uh, the tubs will just slide out, and they'll just be open. It's easier just, you know, plop the rat in there, feed them faster, take the snake out faster, just basically sort of instant access instead of having to take out the whole entire thing, you know, then take off the clips, then get the snake or feed the snake or whatever, you know but I would rather go through the extra steps than accidentally lose an animal somehow. Uh, so this is what we have for the two smaller ones. We have um, Storm and Monty in here. And then these guys will eventually have uh, the two others that are just kind of over here in the corner right now. Um, that would be like Dorian and Crokia for any of you who watch the, uh, the um, collection video that I put out if you were curious. So hopefully that this is what the other uh, rack system will look like. Now this is the one that was made by Aquatic Oaks. Right now we have you know the heat tape in the back, uh, just like the other one did right there. This is actually a uh, like a a smaller uh, width of one. I think it's like the three inch one. And I think the one that we have in the other one is like a six inch. So that'll be interesting seeing the difference. Now uh, the racks are awesome. I cannot tell you how awesome they are. We're usually around uh yep so this is 77 this one is 79 right now so we're usually more around the 80s um uh, temperature wise with these guys have to get smaller bowls because the humidity is just crazy right now but you know that's part of having the rat guys it's part of or make getting the rat guys is just um learning what you need to work on so actually normally if uh we had the heat tape back there set to let's say 90 you know, the temperature with the temp gun, the surface temperature in here, it wasn't going to be 90, no. It'd be somewhere more around like 86. So we'd have to turn up the heat tape temperature to get it to about, you know, what would be um, a 90 degrees in there. But how Aquatic Oaks make this is they put like an a insulating layer right here and this will actually reflect the heat better. So this is that right now, I believe our thermostat and sorry it's blinking it's not like that in real life it's just how it shows up on the camera yeah it's at 85 so if it's at 85 the surface temp in um, in the hot spot in the back there is actually at 90 so that is incredible guys it's keeping it a lot warmer for our little babies here and it's just a lot better for um their overall health so obviously just smaller uh 
smaller water bowls, maybe even put a different substrate in there if it's still going to be a problem with the humidity. Um, and honestly, I think what we're going to do next is install some little, uh, uh, like almost screens right here. I've seen some other breeders do that and I really like how that looks. Just get better airflow in there and uh, it'll obviously help out with the humidity problem that we're having at the moment. But again, live and learn, all part of having a rack. And there's so many people out there that uh, can help you if you guys have questions. Now I'm going to be showing you how to set up these uh, tubs right here to put our snakes in. All right guys, so if you've seen my uh, setting up the tub video, this is gonna be a lot like that. Basically, um, you're gonna need everything in that video, uh, but the uh, heat pad, and you do not need the thermostat at all either because those are going to be built into your rack, which is pretty awesome. And if your thermostat isn't built into your rack, like ours is not uh, actually in the rack, then you are going to have to have only one um, that is just controlling all the heat tape in the whole entire uh, rack. Now, most racks are built that way with a single piece of heat tape, so just make sure that you do your research, make sure that you look at your rack to ensure that it is, otherwise you are going to need a thermostat for each level of heat tape if they are individual pieces. So, first things first, we're going to need to, to get some Aspen bedding right here. This is what I use just because it helps control the humidity better. So we're gonna put that in here just really quickly. All right, and you don't need a whole lot. Um, um, if you guys have seen my tub video, you know that I like to leave just a little bit of an open space right here for the water dish, just cause in case your snake does knock into it, um, tip it just a little bit or try to like, you know, go in it a little bit while they're exploring during the night. You don't need um, to have all of your bedding get so sopping wet in. Replace all of it instead. You can just, you know, replace the little bit that gets wet on the sides then, so. That is how I personally like to do it. Um, you just probably want a good like half inch of bedding. Um, your snake will disperse it as it wants it after that. So then we'll get onto this one and just kind of do the same thing. And if you guys are wondering, you know, oh, how do I, how do I know what size of uh, of enclosure or tub that my snake should have? Well. First thing I would tell you is to make sure that you guys have a scale that can measure in grams. You can find them in like the the um, sort of, I think it's a Tupperware section or so of Walmart. They're pretty cheap. And then uh, it'll just measure your snake in grams, put something like a Tupperware or something on top of the scale, zero it out, and then see how many grams your snake is. After that, you can go to my website which I can post in the description. And then uh, I will have a Google Doc up there that will say, well, if your snake is X amount of grams or in between X amount of grams, then you're gonna need a 32 quart tub versus um, our other tubs right here. So now I'm going to go and uh, show you guys what the next step is. All right, so after you have all this set up, the next step would be, I'm actually gonna just switch these guys. Um, would be putting in the water dish and then your snake. Now, I'm gonna go grab him in a second. This is gonna be Jupiter Hurricane. Technically, I wouldn't put the water dish in until after I have the, uh, the tub inside the rack because I don't want the water to spill over. I'm just gonna show you a quick aerial overview of what it should look like um, as you're putting your snake into the tub. So, this is um, perfect right now. Also, what you want though is a nice hide for them now. Obviously, only one hide's gonna fit and that's okay for uh, racks. So make sure that your the hide that you pick is going to be the most snug one, the most fit one. You're gonna be like, but come on, that's, that's not really cool. Having a, a hide that's just kind of tiny for your snake, no, it makes them feel more secure. Um, and uh, a secure snake is a happy snake. So, so pick the snug uh, hide and I'm gonna be right back with the snake. All right, so this is the hide that I chose. It's actually the smallest one um, that we have at the moment, but you can get them much smaller on mine. So that just fits in there like so. And then we're gonna put our snake in there. 
This is uh, the hurricane, guys. So this is Jupiter. He's pretty awesome. Hopefully, uh, this year he'll be making some awesome babies for us. I'm not going to spoil it yet. It's nothing crazy exciting. I mean, everything hurricane is super exciting, but I don't want to spoil it because he technically is uh, my boyfriend snake that runs the business with us, so he should be the one to tell you guys. But okay, I'm going to get him put in his hide now. There you go, mister. And he likes to explore, so he might try coming out here. Maybe he'll stay put for us. And then after your snake is in, just add clutter. Some people don't put clutter, or at least you don't need much clutter inside of uh, your enclosures because the snake will actually have uh, a blacked out view on all sides except for one. So they will feel a little bit more, you know, at home and secure. I keep using that word because it is important. If your snake doesn't feel like it's safe, can tell you it's not going to eat. I'm trying to keep that out of the water. So there we go. Awesome. Now we'll go into the other room, put him away. All right, and we're gonna put the hurricane in. Woo! Not left-handed, sorry. Just like so. And you can see that it, the, uh, here, I'm gonna move this over. You can see that the rack just fits straight up against here and there's no way that he could squeeze through that. Just place the water in last. At least that would be my recommendation so that you don't spill it all over. Push over to the side and slowly put in until it touches the back. Now, what you want to make sure that you have, absolutely have to have, no getting around, is a thermostat. Now, this isn't plugged in yet or anything. Just showing you um, how you need to set up or how we did set up the other rack or your rack. But make sure you have that thermostat because if you don't, those heat tapes can easily reach 115, 120, even higher than that. That's just what I'm confident in saying they can reach. And that will, for lack of a better term, cook your snake. And nobody wants that. So make sure you have a thermostat. Make sure that you set it to, you could just try 85 at first. That's what I, that's what mine is at. So you know that's probably safe for yours as well and seriously have a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun for a rack, um, you could end up harming your snake as well because it should not, the, the heat tape should not be over 90 degrees as a surface temp inside your tub. Make sure that you guys um, invest in one of those. They're like 10, $15 on Amazon. Uh, it's, it's really a small, um, a small payment instead of paying for a whole new snake. This has been how to set up a rack if you guys have any questions um, want to know maybe where you could get a rack just comment below and I'll try to uh, send you guys to the right places hopefully you guys have some sort of Facebook group in your area going on for reptiles if not I know a couple good Facebook groups that should be able to help you guys out so hopefully you don't need to do shipping um, because that's just that's just a killer on these guys trying to ship those things Ooh, ain't cheap but Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, uh, make sure you subscribe for more and hit the like button. Make sure to check out our website if you guys are interested in purchasing from us or uh, have any other questions. We have some awesome Google Docs on our website that can be really helpful for new breeders, old breeders, or keepers, I guess I should say, and everybody's a breeder. Uh, just make sure that you uh, send us a, a email, tell me what you'd like to see, and I can uh, hit you up if you guys give me your Gmail account and give you access to those Google uh, Google Docs that we have available for everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.